Yeah, you know, ShowtimeTV.com. All right, ShowtimeTV.com. Basically, right now, this is a moment with Showtime. You know, um, usually I'll be doing a personal blogs like this or whatever. I let everybody else do what they do. You know, you might see me dabble and dibble from here and there, whatever the case may be. But um, let's talk about this battle stuff, man. Um, you know, I'm impressed by Smack and um. The whole team, what he doing, he doing his thing. Um, and the people that was involved with that summer madness too, because it was kind of crazy. Um, you know, I chopped it up with Loaded Lux before he um, actually had the battle with um, Calico or whatever on 125th. We did a little interview, Bucalini and all that. You know, that was that was cool, you know. I actually got a chance to sit there and watch the battle. I think the battle was crazy. You know, I think that Lux studded and he kind of messed up in the first round. That's because the crowd wouldn't even allow him to um, finish his his balls because they were so so hype or whatever the case may be. But um, he put in that work, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Calico came and he did what he did. And I don't take nothing from him. He's talented. But yo, yo, Lux went in on the next level, like on some lyricist type OD shit. You know what I'm saying? He basically like took that shit to another level. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect that. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch the Hitman Holler joint. Um, we'll check that out. But recently, I saw the um, the Murder Mook and Aya Solomon shit, man. Um, Mook went in, man. Like, it was a lot of race shit going on back and forth. But it was kind of crazy though. But um, basically, yeah, like, like Mook went in, man. I mean, Solomon had whatever he had, but for that stage. Mook was a monster and all that, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Murder Mook for that, man. He um, he definitely did his thing, man. And it's like it came natural, you know. He had his supporters, you know, Buster. He had um, Pete Diddy, man. It was crazy. He said some real shit. Even Smack was like, that shit was kind of crazy. Like so the whole, the whole situation, how they they put the shit together. You know, I say I commend Smack for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I need to get on that new Smack DVD too. I heard about the things dropping again. Um. But yo, um, on another note, you know what I'm saying? I've been listening to a lot of shit that, that motherfuckers be saying in front of the camera and all of that. And not for nothing, not to take nothing from nobody, but Mook be making a lot of fucking sense when he be saying shit, man. I could, I could co-sign to some of the shit he say make a lot of fucking sense. I watch a lot of his interviews and shit. And he, a lot of shit he say makes sense. And I'm talking about as far as like business-wise and, and, and and how like motherfuckers be acting like they more famous than what the fuck they are when they not, you know what I'm saying? Cause me, like I haven't even done the um the music shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been on my straight media shit, cause I'm a rapper who own a media company. So, you know, I'm I'm doing I'm dibbling and I'm dabbling in different directions and I'm looking at the bigger picture, but I noticed that I I meet major artists and shit and these motherfuckers are so humble and so cool compared to the niggas that's underground. And the niggas is underground acting like them niggas is jigger and shit. And this, you know, the niggas know who they are when they act like that. You know what I'm saying? You should never isolate yourself from anybody who, who has a camera crew or who's carrying a camera. That's just crazy. Like, like for me not to fuck with Smack or fuck with anybody who got a TV, it's retarded. You know what I'm saying? You limit yourself from that audience and, and, and just growth, period. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, anybody who went to school has common sense and study media knows that you need to basically network and um progress because there's no digression I mean there's no progression and digression you know what I'm saying if that make any sense my whole thing is you can't progress if you don't network with all these different vehicles that are going all you do is digress because you don't you don't get a chance to make it to the next level or make another connection because you isolate yourself thinking that you're trying to that, that somebody's trying to take something from you when they not you know what I'm saying? You know, if that makes sense, you know, you think about what I just said, you know? So that's why motherfuckers call me up and it makes sense. I do it. I'm always humble and I'm always chilling. I'm always everywhere. You feel me? Showing love to everybody and everybody who's showing love to me. You know, I'm a businessman. Got my business together. And I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I encourage everybody to do. You know? So, um... Shout out to all them battle leagues that's doing their thing. You know, the Ultimate Warrior shit. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? The UW. Fucking URL, man. Um, I saw the Poison Pen TV. The Grind Time there. I see all that shit going on and shit, man. You know? 
I'm doing me, I'm doing what I'm doing. But I'm liking this shit like a fan. I'm just sitting here watching all this shit. And everybody's on fucking Instagram going dumb. Check my Instagram out at S H O T I M E T V. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that Instagram doing things. You know, I see motherfuckers making moves and I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of niggas I wanna shout out, but I'm not going I'm not gonna do it because I'm just not gonna do it. Y'all know who y'all know, y'all know who the real niggas is and, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Fuck man. I'm out here, I'm working, man, getting this chicken. It's the only way I like fried chicken, barbecue chicken, baked chicken, sauteed chicken, okay? Cajun chicken, any any kind of chicken. I need that. That's how I'm doing it out here. ShowtimeTV.com. Doing my thing, man. You can catch me at the Oktoberfest. You know what I'm saying? Hosted by Ann Jones from Warner, Warner Music Group. There's a lot of um different um companies attached to that. You know, Dev Jam, Sony Red, Showtime TV. Just, yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah, you heard Showtime TV. Yeah, you know. Um, but we doing what we doing, man. And, um, tomorrow, you know, Jay got that after party. Hopefully, God will not be up in that uh, in that thing doing my thing, and this shit might be posted up in the next ten minutes. Who knows? You know, I go ham when it's my own shit. Uh, it is what it is, man. Like, it's light, man. Shout out to all the, all the, all the real MCs, um, working hard and putting that music out and doing what they doing because I'm watching, definitely watching, man. And if you got bars and shit, you wanna hit me up, and you camera worthy, and it makes sense. Let's work. You a promoter? You doing your thing? Hit me up. The number's right there. Leave a message, man. You a fan? Hit me up. You a hater? If you a hater, please do. Give me free promotion because I'm going to love it. Like, that's the type of nigga I am. I'm going to love it. I love promotion. I love the attention. Whether it's positive or negative, anything. If it's according to business, it's like a trap. It's, 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 it's fucking... How can I put this straight? Yo, if it's attached to this fucking link and the link is going somewhere, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, Reverb Nation, Instagram, I don't give a fuck, man. Do it, man. Say whatever you gotta say. I hate you, I love you, whatever, man. I don't care, man. I'm working, man. I'm working, man. You can't take that from me, I'm working. My work ethic is crazy, man. Seven days, man. A week. Getting no sleep, man. No family. Well, I got family, but damn, where they at? And no, you know who I'm talking about. But you know what I'm saying? No friends. My circle consists of industry motherfuckers that's getting it. That's it. If we talk on a day-to-day -day basis, you already know we like that. If we don't, then we don't. It is what it is, man. But if you reach out, I'm always on that humble. I'm always on that hungry. Treat me how you want to be treated, and I'll do the same. Showtime, S-H-O-T-I-M-E TV. That's S-H-O-T-I-M-E TV. On that Instagram, that Twitter. Reverb Nation. Hit that. Yo, Google me, man. I'm working. I'm everywhere, man. I'm not even making music right now. You understand me? I'm setting up some acting shit. Doing some judging, some hosting. So if you need me to come out, man, just hit that, hit that number up. You know what I'm saying? I have somebody contact you. And it's a rap. You know what I'm saying? So imagine I'm a beast. I don't even do music. I'm not even doing music right now. And I'm and I'm and I'm getting it. So imagine when I start showing y'all what it is. Cause I got them bars too. So don't even try to get crazy. I'm trying to tell you that, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Y'all think y'all know, but y'all don't know. But y'all gonna learn today. Real talk.